Welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's nine o'clock on a Wednesday, which means it's time for our Hidden Gems. This is where I, I look back at a, an older trick or idea uh, or routine out of a book or a Penguin Live or an Alakazam Academy or something like that. Uh, something that maybe uh, people aren't talking about these days and I try and draw it to your attention. Um, and, and you know what? I'm going to be talking to you this week about a trick that was huge when it first came out. And I remember reviewing this on the Wizard Product Review back in the day. So way back in the day when I was on the Wizard Product Review with David Penn, I reviewed this. And at the time, everybody was doing it. And as with most tricks, you know, what's, uh, it, it falls by the wayside as new tricks come out. Everybody's clamoring for the latest and greatest thing. And the old things, no matter how good they are, tend to fall by the wayside. And this is a perfect example of something that is incredibly good that I don't see anybody doing, and it's such a shame. And I am talking about Inferno by Joshua J. Now, if you don't know Joshua J, he is the CEO uh, or the co-CEO or the founder or the co-founder of Vanishing Inc., an incredible performer, incredible lecturer, uh, just an all-round nice guy, super talented, and uh, always brings out incredibly good magic. Uh, now, many, many years ago, he bought out Inferno and, uh, and he bought it out in conjunction with Card Shark. Uh, if you don't know who Card Shark is, it's uh, uh, a company owned and run by Christian Schenk and it's, uh, they're, the, they're the company that's responsible for the Phoenix backed playing cards. They create a lot of gaff decks, uh, they create double deckers and thin cards and a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, card Shark are great. Why am I telling you this? because uh, the quality of this particular trick is second to none because it is Card Shark. Now, it is still available. You can get it from all good magic dealers. And, you know, back in the day, this was like, I remember a time where everybody was doing this trick because it's so super commercial. Uh, literally, all you do, the, the concept behind this trick, and I'm, I'm going to show you a performance in a minute of me doing it to Ryland, but the concept behind this trick, very simply, is you bring out a matchbox, and uh, everything happens in their imagination. And you tell them that in their imagination, they're going to burn uh, all of the cards in the deck except for one, which they're going to save. They go through this whole procedure in their imagination of burning various different playing cards. They're left with one playing card. And then you open up the matchbox that's been there from the very, very beginning. When you open up the matchbox, you show there's one card with a paperclip on it. You take the paperclip off. You put the paper clip away, you unfold the card, and it's the card that they named. It is that strong. Uh, it doesn't require a table. Uh, it's, uh, it feels like a completely free choice. Uh, it's an almost instant reset, and it's very, very strong. And it has an engaging hook. It has an engaging plot. It's just a great trick. Don't see many people doing it anymore these days, which is a shame because it takes up virtually no pocket space. It's literally just a matchbox. You put the matchbox in your pocket and you're good to go. It takes no pocket space and it's really strong. It's as strong when you think about it as an invisible deck. Um, when you think about an invisible, I mean, there's pros and cons. So with an invisible deck, they name a card and it's the only one turned over in the deck. With this, they name a card and it's the only one burnt and folded up inside a matchbox. Now, um, obviously, there's a little bit more procedure to get to the point where you're getting them to name a card with this. And some people might be watching this and going, this isn't as good as the Invisible Deck because you have to go through this procedure in order to get them to name a card. But then the other side of the flip side of this is you could argue that this is better because it is the only card on display. When you take it out of that matchbox, it is the only card with a with an invisible deck. There's 52 cards there and, and your prediction is just one card turned over in a deck of 52 cards. So, you know, there's pros and cons, but it's it is a really strong trick that's perfect for strolling perfect for mix and mingle and as I say the the uh the presentation and the hook of it is brilliant so if you haven't seen it I'm going to do a performance on Ryland so you can see exactly what it looks like let me show you this performance of Ryland so you can see exactly uh, what happens in the trick okay so I'm going to show Ryland this he's never seen this trick before uh Ryland this uses your imagination okay you've got a good imagination haven't yes. you uh, it uses matchbox. Now, you don't play with matches. I am, however, going to give you three matches that you can hold on to. And uh, that's because these are invisible matches. That's match number one, match number two, match number three, three invisible matches. Can you please put them down on the table? Very good. Never play with invisible matches. <laughs> 
Now, I also have a deck of invisible playing cards, and we're going to use your imagination right here. I know you've got a good imagination. We're going to use your imagination, and we're going to burn some playing cards. We're going to burn almost all the cards, but you're going to have the ability to save one of those cards. And we'll get to that in a minute. But first of all, there's many ways to divide a deck of playing cards. We're going to divide them into picture cards and number cards. Now, I want you to think in your head which ones you want to burn, which ones you want to set alight. When I snap my fingers, you're going to tell me and everybody else that's watching this video, Ryland, which would you like to burn, the numbers or the pictures? The numbers. The numbers. So you take a match, light it, and now you're going to burn all of the number cards. They've gone. All of the aces, all of the sevens, all of the tens, all of the two, they've all gone. That leaves us with the picture cards. Now we're going to do the same thing again because you've still got two matches. Next, you're going to make another decision. We've got the male picture cards, we've got the female picture cards. Which ones would you like to burn? It's totally up to you. Whichever ones you choose, those are the ones you're going to burn. Burn the female. You're going to burn the female picture cards. So I want you to imagine that you're setting fire to the female picture cards. Okay. Do it. There you go. And now you can see that they're all burning, right? You can, in your imagination. And do you remember at the beginning I said that you can reach in and save one? Now think about this. You chose to burn all of the, uh, all of the number cards. Then you chose to burn all of the queens. And you're going to reach in and save one of those queens. Which one would you like to save? The rich one. The rich one? Would that be like the diamond? <laughs> yeah. The queen of diamonds. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Now this matchbox has been here from the very beginning, hasn't it? And can you see what's inside there? They can't see, so you're going to have to tell them. It's a playing card. Can you see that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, if I could get it out, this would be a miracle. We got. It's a playing card. And you can see that there's, a, there's a, a paper clip on there. We do not need the paper clip. We just need the, um, uh, the, the, the playing card. That's all that's important. Now, one more time, Ryland. One more time. One more time. What was the card that you ended up with? And the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds, wasn't it? And you're not going to believe this, but there's one burnt card inside this matchbox that's been here the whole time. And that is the Queen of Diamonds. Proof that I knew exactly what you would do. That's cool, isn't it? It doesn't feel very burnt, but it is cool. Yeah, you can see how burnt it is. Look at it. Yeah, it looks burnt, but it's not actually burnt. It doesn't feel burnt. Well, I burnt it ages ago. So there you go. Now, if this was being released today, it would get 100%. People would be raving about it. It'd have a multi-page thread on the cafe. But as I said, as with a lot of things that have come out from years and years and years ago, it's fallen out of people's repertoires. Maybe new people that have come into magic can't even aware of this. And that's a real shame because this is a very strong routine. Uh, the props are very well made. It comes with a tutorial that runs about 25 minutes that explains everything with a fine... Uh, you know, it, it goes through everything. I mean, Joshua J is an incredible teacher of magic. Uh, there's very few people that are as good as Josh when it comes to explaining how to do tricks. Uh, and it's almost, it's, it's very easy to do. Um, it, there's nothing difficult about it. Uh, now, I, having said that, there is an easy version. So the version I showed you is the version I do, which is the standard version, um, which involves you uh, having to do a switch at one point or not a switch. It's not even a switch. I don't know how to describe it. You have to do a move at one point, right? Uh, with the easy version, uh, you, you get, and these are included in the package as well, uh, you get a couple of gaffed cards that allows you to do it without really needing to do that switch. So literally, you just open up the uh, matchbox. They tip the uh, the card into your hand. When they tip the card into your hand, you take the paper clip off, you put it away, and with no moves, you open it up and you show it's the card that they've named. It's a much easier version. So if you're worried about doing the move, although to be honest, it's a very easy move to do, you shouldn't be worried about it. But if you are worried about doing the move, there are alternatives that you can follow along as well. So it's called Inferno. It's by Joshua J. It's available from all good magic dealers. You can also get it directly from, uh, uh, from uh, Card Shark. And it's just a super commercial trick. If you're looking for something that's a little bit different, that you can just throw in your pocket and you're good to go, this is it. Uh, it's almost like an everyday carry when you think about it, because you could just throw these matchbox, this matchbox into your pocket and, you, you know, somebody goes, oh, I want to do a trick. You can just literally take it out, put it on the table and you're good to go anytime, anywhere. So there you go. It's an incredible trick. I absolutely love it.
So there you go, guys. That's another Hidden Gems. I, I, I thought I'd go for a trick this week as opposed to delving deep into a project that's, you know, like a, a, a Penguin Live or, or whatever. Uh, I thought I'd go for an actual trick this week. But it's, a, it's such a good trick. And I'm amazed at the amount of people that don't know about this trick and have never seen it before. But I think one of the reasons is new people are coming into magic all of the time. And this, this got released probably a decade ago now, if not longer, I don't know exactly. But it's a very, very old trick. But it has absolutely, completely and totally stood the test of time. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to know, do you perform Inferno? If you do, what do you think of it? Do you think it gets good reactions? Have you performed it and you've forgotten about it? And if so, has this jogged your memory and made you want to put it back into your act? Or is this something brand new to you? And if so, do you like it? Are you going to do it? I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget, you want to see more videos like this? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget the Netrix is now live. Just go to www.thenetrix.com and you can sign up for a month and see what all the fuss is about. We're about to upload another five new routines. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV.